Welcome back. So another inspection of the Russian honeybee hive. Uh oh, got some ants up here today. Let's see. These look good. They're not bowling out yet. But it's just about a three week old um, package. So we're getting bigger. We got some ants on top though. Might figure out how to get rid of those. Huh. The sugar water we fed last week is mostly still there, but we're in the middle of a nectar flow, so I'm not too surprised by that. The bees are still pretty gentle. They're seeing what I'm doing. I'm gonna start kind of farther in out where there's not really much activity going on. Yeah, and start pulling that out at all, yeah. Spring's pretty heavy. We've got a good bit of neck to pull down on this. So that's good. Got fruit and pollen in here. Fruit. Emerging brood. I don't know if you're able to see this one or not. There's one working her way out of the cell now. I didn't see the queen there. But if you have watched the previous videos, you know we've got a Russian queen with the green dots, that's what we're looking for. But there's eggs, there's brew, there's larva. So we know she's doing what she's supposed to be doing. It's a nice brew pattern on this frame. Completely capped. Pollen off this frame, not much else. I'll give it a nectar in here. This side. Not much on these two, last two. put this nectar frame a little further out so that maybe they'll be enticed to pull out some wax in these other frames and move this further in. We'll do the same thing on the others. See if we can get some activity going. The queen's definitely here. They're working. They're getting bigger. Population's going to grow every week now. We've got brood emerging every day. So that's good news. 
it's a package of bees. That the brood it should definitely should be a pretty good brood break just because when they got here a few weeks ago, there was no brood at all. So it should be a pretty low row of mite count. So that's all I really wanted to do today, was just get in there and look. Make sure we're still looking better. Put this propolis trap back on top. With the telescope and lid. I'm gonna take that inner, inner cover out because of the ants and see if that does a little bit better. Mike's about here and put some granular ant poison out too. Just to see if we can get rid of them. If you do just need to kill ants near your honeybees, it's better to use a granular formulation. You don't want to use anything to dust because that would get on the bees and that would likely kill the bees also. But granular stuff like that that they can't pick up and carry back into the hive is the safer option if you need to kill bees or kill ants around your bees. So I'll put some granular poison out here shortly. And thank you for watching.